Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Yeah. Okay, Sasir. Ready? Sasir, do you know about your topic points? Yeah, like them. Hobbies. Hobbies. Okay, all right. Can, can we start? Yeah, sure, ma'am. Wish you all the best. This is Trinity College London, ISC1. My name is Angelina. What's your full name? My full name is Cici Nubwane. Yeah. What's your topic's title for today? My topic title is my hobbies. What are your four topic points? Eating out, traveling, meeting with friends, watching movies. Okay. What do you do when you meet your friends? I do meet with my friend. We are going to visit new place mm -hmm. and talking with some serious point. And then sometime eating out, drinking. Okay, could you tell me about a place that you recently visited to meet your friends? Yeah, I recently met with my friend is Doncaster Town Center. What did you do there? We had visit new shopping centers and shopping some clothes and then eating. Do you think it is important to meet friends? Yeah, ma'am. I think it's important with meet with friends. Why? Sometimes we are bored. I feel enjoy meet with my friend, and I feel relaxed. What kind of films do you like to watch? I like to watch is comedies, movies, and action movies. Could you tell me about a film that you had seen recently? Yeah, I watch is the on the six. It's a recently watched movie. It's a Nepali movie. Okay. And who was your favorite character in the film? My favorite character is Deepak Rajgiri. He is the most important part of the movie. Okay. Do you like to watch films alone or with your friends? Yeah, I like to watch with my friend, with my wife. Um, where do you like to travel? I like to travel village area and then cities. At what time of and the day do you like to travel? I like to travel sometime morning, evening. It's a different for the mood. Where do you like to travel for holiday? I like to travel in the city areas, sometimes it's village area. I like to go there. Okay. Could you tell me about a place where you like to eat out with your friends? Yeah, I like to eat out. Always it's Nepali food. And then I like to go on in Nepali restaurant. And we are going there after that. We are ordered the Nepali food like momos and then sequas, soila, etc. Do you prefer to eat out in cheap restaurants or expensive restaurants? No, it's actually not different for the cheap restaurant and the and expensive restaurant. Just we different for the which is the nearest restaurant and then which in the favorite food would you would you like to eat? I like to eat the food that I can I could eat. So you like to eat good food, tasty food, yeah. doesn't matter. Tasty food, yeah. Doesn't matter, is the expensive and then safe. Okay, okay. The topic of conversation that I have chosen for you is watching news. So what kind of news do you like to watch? I like to watch is the political news. And then
Okay, what do you like about political news? Political news is basically is which person is the in the post and and sometimes change the is rules and regulation. All right, and where do you like to watch news? Where? Yeah, from my home. In watching TV. Okay, all right. Now, could you please ask me two questions about watching news? Yeah. Are you like to watching news? Yes. What kind of news do you watch? I watch. I like to watch weather news, weather forecast. Weather for? Weather forecast. Weather forecast. Okay. Thank you. This is the end of your speaking test. Congratulations. Fast. The question is, do you like to watch? Not are you? Okay. What kind of news do you like to watch? Okay. All right. Thank you. This is the end of the speaking test. All right. Cecile, I'm going to play a recording about Cheese Rolling Festival. You have to listen to the recording and then answer six questions about the recording here. All right. Yeah, okay. uh, I will play the recording twice. Sure. Let me change your recording. Probably it's taking too long to download it. So, yes, you know, yeah, let me change it. Okay, I'm going to play a recording about mm, basketball. Ah, yes, yes you're on. listening task one. You're going to hear a talk about a cheese festival. That's you will hear the now. talk twice. Now, cheese festival one. Okay. You're going to, you are going to hear a conversation about a cheese festival. Listen to it twice, then I'll ask you six questions about the recording. I ask you sure. one, listening task one. You're going to hear a talk about a cheese festival. You will hear the talk twice. As you listen, write down some notes about what you hear, if you want to. After, I will ask you six questions on some facts about the cheese festival. Are you ready? There's an unusual cheese festival in the south of England. It has taken place in the month of May. They use the local hard cheese because it's in the shape of a wheel. This means that people can push it down a hill. The cheese weighs about five kilos, so it moves fast. People take the cheese to the top of a hill. This is where the race begins. The cheese goes 200 meters to the bottom of the hill and the competitors run after it. People always fall over because the hill is so steep. The first person to catch the cheese is the winner. Nowadays, people come from all over the world for this festival. Recent winners have been a woman from America and a man from Japan. People have wanted to cancel the race because the weather is too wet, but it hasn't happened yet. ISE 1, listening task 1. There's an unusual cheese festival in the south of England. It has taken place in the month of May. They use the local hard cheese because it's in the shape of a wheel. This means that people can push it down a hill. The cheese weighs about five kilos, so it moves fast. People take the cheese to the top of a hill. This is where the race begins. The cheese goes 200 meters to the bottom of the hill and the competitors run after it. People always fall over because the hill is so steep. The first person to catch the cheese is the winner. 
Nowadays, people come from all over the world for this festival. Recent winners have been a woman from America and a man from Japan. People have wanted to cancel the race because the weather is too wet, but it hasn't happened yet. Now, I'll ask you some questions. All, all right, now I'll ask you some questions about the cheese rolling festival. Okay, ma'am. All right, where does the festival take place? Where does the festival take place? It's a cheese festival. Where, where, W, where, where? Where does the festival take place, where? No, ma'am, I don't remember. South please. of England, listen to it again. South of England, okay, okay. Listen South to the England. recording again, please, hold on. Ready? Listen now, okay. take take notes. You take yes, notes. Yes, share them, share them. Hmm. Nice. As you listen, write down some notes about what you hear, if you want to. After, I will ask you six questions on some facts about the cheese festival. Are you ready? There's an unusual cheese festival in the south of England. It has taken place in the month of May. They use the local hard cheese because it's in the shape of a wheel. This means that people can push it down a hill. The cheese weighs about five kilos, so it moves fast. People take the cheese to the top of a hill. This is where the race begins. The cheese goes 200 meters to the bottom of the hill and the competitors run after it. People always fall over because the hill is so steep. The first person to catch the cheese is the winner. Nowadays, people come from all over the world for this festival. Recent winners have been a woman from America and a man from Japan. People have wanted to cancel the race because the weather is too wet, but it hasn't happened yet. ISE 1, listening task 1. There's an unusual cheese festival in the south of England. It has taken place in the month of May. They use the local hard cheese because it's in the shape of a wheel. This means that people can push it down a hill. The cheese weighs about five kilos, so it moves fast. People take the cheese to the top of a hill. This is where the race begins. The cheese goes 200 meters to the bottom of the hill and the competitors run after it. People always fall over because the hill is so steep. The first person to catch the cheese is the winner. Nowadays, people come from all over the world for this festival. Recent winners have been a woman from America and a man from Japan. People have wanted to cancel the race because the weather is too wet, but it hasn't happened yet. Now, I'll... okay, now I will ask you some questions. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so uh, could you tell me where does the festival take place? Where? South of England. Hmm. Good. And when does the festival happen? The month of the May. Man. Okay, uh, could you excuse me? I need to give food to my cat. I'll be right back. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, Hello, Shasir. Oh, nice pet. Isn't she cute? Yeah, really cute. Yes. Nice eyes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, my question to you is about when does the festival happen? Festival happen is the May, month of the May. Mm hmm. 
And what shape is the cheese? What shape is the cheese? Is the annual cheese? Shape, shape of the cheese. What is the shape of the cheese? No, ma'am, I don't remember this. It's like a wheel. It's like a wheel. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, what does the winner have to do? First catcher is the winner. Catch the cheese. Okay, yeah. and who has won the race recently? Sorry, ma'am, again? Who has won the race recently? Who? Okay, so see, listening has a huge problem. Okay, we'll work on that. Okay. Right, no worries, uh, no worries. It's okay. You need to listen to a lot of recordings. You need to learn how to write your notes, understand the concept of why, where, when, who, how. We call them five W's and an H, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah but I understand thing. question, but. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you. Are you I, I don't know if you have taken the photo of the question that I sent them. You can also write about it. Yeah, sure, ma'am. Can, can you tell me the total format of the question? I don't understand. I don't know anything. Total about the question format is. of the test is this, that you get speaking, as you have seen that already. In speaking, you, uh, speaking, listening speaking, you understand, the, right? Task one and task yeah. two conversation part. Listening, task one, is independent listening task. In this part of the test, examiner repeats the recording and asks you to answer six questions from the recording. Six okay. questions, right? Six questions, yeah. Okay. Second time, the examiner plays the recording and plays it once and then uh, tells you that don't take notes. Just tell me in few sentences what is the recording about. Few. Few means even one line. For example, if I say I'm going to Just play one, line, yeah. one or two lines, maybe I say I'm going to play a recording about tigers. Uh, tell me in few words what is the recording about. I'm sure I played for you once. That uh, that was recorded about tigers in Nepal. You remember? Okay, yeah, I remember. Yeah. So you told me that this is about how they hunt, what they eat, and uh, you know where do they live and all. Then I said, now it is time to record six facts from the recording. And you did tell me six facts from the recording. And after that, examiner might ask you one, two, or three follow-up questions depending on uh, if you have missed any facts from the recording, right? And that's the end of the listening test. Understand it? Yeah, I understand. You want to the last? Can you tell me? Uh, examiner only? will ask follow up questions. Follow up questions. Follow up question means? Like I was asking you a while ago. No? Like follow up means that, for example, if I ask you to tell me six facts from the recording and okay. you can't tell me six, all of them, or maybe you tell me six of them, but there's a few more facts. Like I say, okay, so when was it made? 1893. So follow-up questions means in easy English, examiner might ask you three extra questions after you have told six facts. Okay. All right. All right, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh,